Well, was that everything you had hoped for Saturday night when you committed to Clemson? Uh, it was. It was definitely unlike um, unlike anything I've ever experienced before. I mean, being in the stands, it's a whole other like experience. It's fun, it's fun and all, and like. But when you're out on the field, and especially when it was raining out, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if there was gonna be fans there, and I I have to, I have to give credit to the fans for everybody. They stayed there the whole game. It was I mean it was I I mean I had like people like Eric were telling me like, it was even louder that like that for that game than it would be on like a regular night where it wasn't raining. So I, mean, I was I was really shocked, and it was. Uh, it was crazy coming down that hill with like everything shaking like that it was crazy. It's kind of not a secret now that when Clemson needs a tough yard or two, they run behind you and Eric. Is there some personal satisfaction in there? Um, yeah, there is. I mean, it, I, I mean, it's, it's mainly with the running back sees. I mean, we, we just, we kind of, we just go out there and block, and we just, I, I mean, when it comes that like third and one or third and two, we just, we, we put our hand in the dirt and just, and just try to, and try to hunker down and get that extra yard. How much do you enjoy seeing a guy like Ball and blocking for him who's not afraid to get his nose dirty and really is just showing improvement on getting the tough yards? Yeah, he, because he, he has the ability to bounce off sides at speed, but he also, also with, with that speed, he knows how to, he can, he can put his head down and just and get, uh, get, a, get a yard or two whenever he needs it, get, even get positive yards with people hanging on him. And he's, uh, he's, he's definitely, he's definitely looking really good this season. Do you guys as linemen kind of appreciate that style of runner maybe more than fans, maybe even coaches appreciate? Yeah, I d definitely appreciate it because if, if if he does he does have that ability where if he doesn't see anything and like and maybe we're not like getting the push we need he, he can definitely like bounce like bounce outside maybe or even or even just like put like give a push through and uh, and get a get a yard or two. How much of a confidence builder is it to have a game like Notre Dame under your belt where the offensive line plays so well on the big stage? Uh, it, it's it's definitely it's something great to have. Um, just just knowing like how we match up against like a, a great defense of. Um, even the front, like uh, Notre Dame has, it's kind of it's kind of reassuring. But I mean, I mean, nothing's uh, nothing guaranteed. We, we just have just as hard of a um, of a game this week than last week. What stands out about Georgia Tech's defense? Um, they they don't quit and they um, they're everywhere. I mean, they they're they run side to sideline and they and uh, they're I mean, they're they never quit. They they come off the ball hard and they um, they're physical. Third of the way into your college, our first college season. How would you evaluate? Um, I would evaluate. I would. I would say I have. Um, there's definitely some technical stuff I need to work on. Um, I mean, I'm just, it's, it's, it's all new to me, and um, and I know coach. I I, I get frustrated with myself here and there, uh, just because like it's, I see myself do some stupid stuff like technically, but I mean, coach Caldwell does kind of reassure me and say you're still only a freshman. Like you, you got like, like you, you have time, and like and like this is your first like your first year, and you're we just threw you in the fire. So I mean, you're, you're doing great for how you're, like where you are right now. So it's you would say it's mostly correctable. Yeah. Yeah. I would, yeah. I would say it's, it's it's mostly correctable stuff. It's I mean it's it's stuff that I I can I could probably like work on and like fix during like practice or maybe like and, and definitely having um maybe like another year of uh of just um of just getting like technical work and, and that stuff. Yeah. What what's the one thing you think you could hang your hat on that you've done best? Um. I would I would say just do uh, doing the doing the best I I, uh, I can with what I know because I know Eric they, they know a lot more than me they have a lot more experience and um, and like uh, and Joe Gore and Ryan and all of them and uh, and Jay they, they have a lot more experience and they just like they just know some a few things that are just like like I don't see out there that they see like kind of faster so it's so I mean there's definitely just a few like some some things I think just comes with experience. Is Eric good about yeah, he yeah he definitely helps me a lot. He um, especially when it comes to like the uh, blitzes and the pass protection, like he um, like he'll just see it a little bit faster than I do. Like like I'll see it kind of the last second, like be like a little late on a call, but he he'll help correct me and like make it like uh, make the call faster, so it, it helps uh, helps everyone else out. Georgia Tech's kind of in your backyard from where you grew up, so is it extra special at all to play them? Yeah, it's it's a, it definitely is. I've, I mean, I, I know because uh, a bunch of kids uh, around the area where I uh, where I played, uh, like a few of them got, gone uh, gone have gone to Georgia Tech, so I kind of know like a few of the kids that that are there. That are there. And um, and so it'll be it'll be fun to uh, get a chance to play them. Did you ever consider playing? I mean, I, I know you wanted to come to play in an offense like that. I mean, and just a pure run run offense. No, I mean from the from the offense I came from in high school, where we were in the spread a lot. It's very similar to Clemson. It um, 
I I mean I, I knew I definitely I definitely just wanted to like run like a like a more balanced offense that um that had more um more of a uh, a pass like scheme to it. Had a couple of tough opponents defensively. Uh, obviously, Louisville was your first game on the road as a true freshman. Um, how would you compare the two? Was one harder than the other? Were they equally challenging? Uh, they're definitely equally equally challenging. It helps a lot being uh, being at home playing Notre Dame and um, and be on the road was definitely a big experience. Just uh, just going uh, going against the team on the road is it's a, I mean it's not a lot but it, there's definitely like a like a certain amount of, like of uh, difference that, like between being at home and being on the road. Did you feel like pressure coming in here with the high recruiting for a while and being the first time and all that kind of stuff? Um, no, not not really, because I mean the the good thing about playing on the line is like you're with like a group of guys, so like you you kind of get. It's just like you five out there. Like it's not just you singly out there. Like you have like other guys like that. Like they help you out and that like that like like you rely on. Like so you you're not. So I mean I was kind of like it just it, it felt good having like all those other guys out there with me. At the same time, do you feel like you have started to live up to the I guess the hype that kind of came with all your recruiting profile and that kind of um, I'm I'm not very I'm not really sure. I I guess I'd have to uh, see how other people look at look at it.